Okay, we're live. Sorry, guys. We're, uh, we've got a lovely buffalo bull uh, right on the edge of the Mara River. Uh, we were hoping we might have some leopard luck as we moved through the trees. And uh, we're looking back towards the escarpment now. And, of course, the buffalo, beyond that buffalo bull, there's a massive herd of buffalo that we're slowly making our way towards. So a couple of hundred actually split into two. So I, I would say maybe close on two to three hundred buffalo coming up ahead. And... and and, well, where there's buffalo, hopefully there's lions, you never know. And, oh, we can hear some frogs. And it's literally almost everywhere you look, you find more, more, and more to look at. Have you spotted the warthog yet, Eggsy? There we go. And there's a lot of warthogs here. We just drove through an area that I was being told is called the graveyard. So I immediately assumed it's because the lions killed lots of things. But I think it's more of a vehicle graveyard because of all the warthog holes there uh, the, <laughs> that the cars get stuck in. And uh, we've got something really special for you now. And uh, it is... Oh, I don't know how to describe it. I'm just going to have to get Eggsy to show you. It is a spectacular view of an elephant... Oh no, is it behind the pole? No, oh, you got it, you got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and there we go, an elephant with the Ololo escarpment behind. Now, James is wondering how large our traversing area is uh, at the moment. Well, we're in the Mara Triangle, which is about 110,000 hectares. Yeah, 110,000 hectares. So, that is 200 and 20 plus some change thousand acres and uh, and hopefully it'll be getting bigger as well so and, and and quite shortly so yes we've got a massive massive traverse now it's a joy and a, and and a curse at the same time because we want to go everywhere but some of the most productive parts are obviously always just just below home so we're going to keep driving now for a little bit and head towards that big herd of buffalo So, um, remember, any questions, hashtag Safari Live. So, the Mara River is to my right here. And you, we, it's a protected zone, so you can't actually uh, drive into it around those trees and stuff like that. So, we've got to peruse the edges for leopards. Deborah agreed. The scenery is absolutely stunning. It's, it's in fact, it's mind-blowing. Now, we're going to... Keep along the main road and uh, down to the right here is, is I think, Governor's Camp. Is that correct? Yep, yep there we go, Governor's. Uh, that's where the balloon safaris depart from, is just down here. And we're going to be making our way towards that big herd of buffalo and then slowly making our way back home up to the top of the escarpment. And uh, it is just truly spectacular. I'm mean, actually at a loss for words. And uh, how about this? One word tweet, guys. Uh, how does being in the Maasai Mara make you feel? One word tweet, hashtag Safari Live. I can't wait to hear from you. Because uh, it makes me feel euphoric. Euphoric is my one word tweet. What's yours, Eggsbert? Mind blown. That's two words, Eggsy. Not if you say it my way. Okay, Eggsy says mind blown. Uh, and it is, it is only one word if you say it Eggsy's way. Of course, Eggsy is an interesting cat, so we'll just leave him at that. So there we go, our one word tweet. Mind blown from Eggsy and euphoric from Brent. Kirsten thinks it's a good one from Eggsy. <gasps> we have got to go through a little gate now. Are we going through the gates or did I take the wrong road? I took the wrong road, huh? No, right way? Okay, I'm on the right road. Just double checking. So, of course, the amazing thing about uh, all of these reserves is there's no fences. I oh know, there we go. It's open. It's on Tizana. There we go. Okay, so while I make my way back towards that big herd of buffalo, uh, let's go see how Biron is doing back in the Sabi Sands.